when you begin your walk in a prayerful attitude, you literally get to see what you should be praying for. Genuine prayer is happening when God is about to do something and God tells the Holy Spirit, tell them to pray because I'm about to do something. And when you're out there praying, you have the thoughts that God has. And sometimes God gives you new thoughts. Sometimes He brings thoughts to your mind from Scripture. When you pray or walk, all your senses are at work. And you are waiting what to hear, what to see, what to smell, what to taste. When you shake hands, something happens. And when you pray or walk, you, are be, you can be guided into different directions. Allow God to guide you to think about the kind of people that might be represented by the things you see. Uh, you may pray for the children that you see represented by toys. Pray for teachers when you walk by a school. Pray for preachers when you walk by a church. You see a mosque, pray for them. You see, you see a synagogue, pray for them. You see a temple, pray for them. Pay attention to what God may be doing in the situations around you. That may be your invitation to join Him in His activity. It may be that you get personally involved at the moment you're there. It may be that you see a need or an opportunity to meet a need. Uh, oftentimes, as you look into the eyes and faces of people, you'll see sadness. I've seen tears in people on the subway, and it gives me thoughts about how I can pray for those people. Did God create this person? Of course, the answer is yes. Does God love this person? The answer is yes. Did Jesus die for this person? The answer is yes. Does God want this person to go to heaven by faith in Christ? The answer is yes. How can I make that happen? A prayer walking may bring you into contact with someone that God's intending to impact that day. Or maybe God is about to do something through the life of this person and God brought me here to pray for him or for her. So be sensitive to God's Spirit as you walk and pray. Take turns praying. Sometimes you can pray out loud. Sometimes you can pray silently. Sometimes you can simply go back and forth and just tossing the ball to one another while you're praying. And you just have a good time doing it. You're out in the community, you're walking, you're sharing back and forth, you're just listening to God as you pray. And sometimes that means that one person can pray for the group for a period of time. Other times it means you just pray sentence prayers going back and forth among the group. One of the values of praying together with a partner as you're walking or driving through your community is to uh, be able to pray in agreement. The scripture tells us that where two or three of you agree on earth is touching anything, it will be done for them of my Father. Concerted prayer gives us a picture and a feel for the heart of God. As you move out there together, God will prompt other people and use that to lead you to know what to pray. And so it's this dynamic exchange between you and your team that are out there praying. And the way you pray may shape the way I pray. I may adjust my praying according to what God seems to be saying as you pray. So when you're prayer walking, you're bringing a group of people together and uh, they're in agreement as you pray and walk together and you're taking notice of the things that are around you. When we're coming into agreement, we're not agreeing with each other but we're wanting to come into an agreement with God and as we help each other we come to understand what God has on His heart and we begin to say, God, would you do that? And God's answer to us is yes. One of the great weaknesses we have as we pray is that we don't even know what to ask for. But the scripture tells us that the Holy Spirit intercedes for us according to the will of God. You know what's interesting? After the end of Matthew chapter 9, he called the same people who were listening to him as his disciples, and then he sent them with authority. Be careful when you pray, because you might be an answer to that prayer. As you're praying, you may uh, identify a need and realize that God's inviting you to help meet that need. You may have an experience like Isaiah did where God said, Isaiah, who could I send? Who would go for me? And Isaiah realized, it's me, Lord. Would you allow me to be a part of accomplishing that task? 
when I walk through the community, I generally have a sense of what I should pray for. And in addition to that, while I'm in that attitude of prayer, sometimes you meet people and uh, you're, you're, you're engaged in some kind of discussion that gives you another connection uh, for prayer. Occasionally, as you're pray, prayer walking, you'll see someone that you sense God prompts you to uh, speak to. One of the best uh, things you can do for them is just say, we're out prayer, praying for people in our community. Is there a special way we could pray for you? Or you might ask, is there a special need in your life we can pray for? Is there a way we can pray for you or for your family?